Hi, I'm Monique, and this is your Activist Update. So what's going on with the monthly meetings? We're still in a COVID world, which means San Diego County, Orange County, Riverside County, and San Bernardino County have all been having monthly meetings via Zoom and Facebook. How's it been? Well, actually, it's been great. Uh, yes, we would rather meet in person, but the online meetings are super easy. The feedback we've gotten is that they are very informative too. So for now, we're going to continue to do them online until all the COVID craziness is behind us. Whatever county you're in, San Diego, Orange County, Riverside, San Bernardino, check out the schedule on our website or on our Facebook page and join us at an online monthly meeting. In September, San Diego's meeting is on September 16th, Orange County's meeting is on September 17th, San Bernardino's meeting is on September 24th, and they all start promptly at 7 p.m. Riverside's monthly meeting is on September 26th, and theirs start at 4 p.m. So fire up your computers and Zoom with us. In the news, the biggest news story, the biggest news story in the Second Amendment world has to be the magazine ban ruling. Back on August 14th, the Ninth Circuit Court ruled that a ban on magazines is unconstitutional. Yeah, you heard that right. The Ninth Circuit Court got it right. And whew, what a big decision this is. A San Diego lady named Virginia Duncan decided that the magazine ban voters voted for in Prop 63 was unconstitutional. So she took them to court. Last year, Judge Benitez ruled that she was right. But California appealed and the case went in front of a panel of three Ninth Circuit Court judges. Good news though, the third judge was a Trump appointee and he was the tie-breaking vote. So the ruling was exactly what we already knew. A magazine is a necessary part of a firearm and firearm bans are unconstitutional. As of the filming of this video, we don't know if California will appeal or put the case in front of a larger panel of judges, or maybe just let the decision stand. San Diego County gun owners, Orange County gun owners, and Riverside County gun owners had a small but important part in the decision. We worked with Firearms Policy Coalition and the Second Amendment Foundation to submit an amicus brief making the case to the judges that the magazines estate banned are protected by the Second Amendment. We are proud to say that the majority decision by the Ninth Circuit Court adopted our brief and used it in their official opinion heavily. Our organization tends to stay out of court cases. We're an activist organization primarily. But we decided to sign on to the brief and we are so glad. Such a great job and an important win. So thank you Firearms Policy Coalition and a big thank you to Virginia Duncan for taking them to court. We don't know the final outcome yet, but keep an eye on our emails to get all of the updates on the Duncan versus Becerra lawsuit against California magazine ban. Have you heard the news? Gun Sports Radio is now Gun Owners Radio and they've adopted a very familiar looking logo. We are very excited to announce that Gun Owners Radio has a new name and is now a two hour format. That means longer, more in-depth interviews, gear reviews, local Second Amendment news, and everyone's favorite trivia master, Sam the Gunman. So check out Gun Owners Radio on Facebook, stream it on our website, or find us on any podcast service. This month, Gun Owners Radio had on 17-year-old high school student Kaylee. Kaylee actually wrote an article about the school shooting at her school, Saugus High School, just last year. We interviewed Kaylee on Gun Owners Radio and her interview was fantastic. Before the shooting, Kaylee was like most teens and hadn't really formed an opinion of the Second Amendment or guns. That is until her friends and she were attacked and the only thing that could help her was the one thing banned at all California schools. Check out her radio interview by clicking on the link below in the description and read her article by visiting the blog section of our website. The article is titled, Gun Control is Killing Our Kids. Great job, Kaylee. We can't wait to hear more from you. Looking forward, what happened to gun prom? San Diego has a huge dinner every year called the San Diego Second Amendment Dinner or Gun Prom. And this year, yours truly is gonna be the MC. But we had to postpone the dinner until October 3rd because of COVID regulations. I know I was bummed too, but do not worry, the dinner is still on. We know it's been a tough year, and for some it's been really tough. We are determined to get back to normal, and our dinner is going to be a safe, fun step towards just doing that. We are working with the venue and the county to make sure our event is going to be great. Despite the delay, it is still happening. Lots of prizes, 800 people, fun times, elected officials, and me as the MC. 
So don't miss this event. Tickets are on sale. Go to thegunprom.com to buy a ticket. The early bird specials are still in effect, so it's just 99 bucks a seat. It will be at the Town & Country in Mission Valley in San Diego, and you might just win a gun. Remember, check out gunprom.com and buy your ticket today. Thank you for watching your activist update. I'm Monique, and don't forget to become a member because together we will win. Without someone doing something about it, it's not gonna get any better. Is this a lot of finger pointing? Am I no, like, shooting the camera with a pew?